So once we know how loop works, let's talk about nested loops. Now what exactly nested loops are, what I want to do now is I want to print something like this. I want to print star, 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 star. Again, this comes under logical patterns. Okay, so based on this video, you'll be getting lots of assignments. Okay, these are your four stars there. We want to print this, right? I want to print this format. Now for sure, when you want to print only one star here, so let's focus only on one star. So the first target we have here is to print those four stars. The condition is using one statement, you can only print one star. So what I will do, if I say system.out.print, not print ln, make sure when you, when you write this, you have to make it print. When you say only one print, if you write this code, you can see we, only, we got only one star, which is this star. I want four stars, right? So I have to write this statement four times, redundancy, right? So what I will do, I will, I will use a for loop and I will name this loop as J loop. Again, you can take it any name. And I will start this J loop from one to four and then J plus plus. So if I run this code now, since you have a for loop here, let me just use some curly brackets also. So if I run this code now, you can see we got four stars because we are executing this statement four times. But hold on, I don't want just four stars. I want the complete box, right? So that means after every fourth block, after every fourth, I mean fourth star, I want to print a new line because the next, the next statement should be on the new line. So I'm putting a new line there. And I want to execute the same stuff for four times. You can see I want four lines, right? So I want to execute the same step four times. We can again apply a for loop here, which will execute the inner for loop four times. So I will say i equal to one, i less than equal to four, and i plus plus. Okay, we can just provide a proper formatting. Now again, we can do formatting with the help of Control Shift F in Eclipse, or you can simply say tab, even that will do. And if you run this code now, you can see we are getting uh, this box structure here. Okay, so that's how you can apply a loop inside a loop. Again, this can be done with the help of while loop. It can be done with the help of do while loop. It can be done with the help of for loop. So that's how we use a normal for loop or a nested for loop in, in Java. So yeah, that's it because of, I mean, for, from this, we'll be getting lots of assignment. Let me, let me give you one code here. If I just want to print numbers, so I will print, I will simply print J. Okay, so what it will do is it will print all the J values. Example, the I will start with one and then J will start with one and then it will print the first value of J as one and then it will, it will go, it will increment the loop and the J value becomes two now. So it can, if you print this, it will become two. Again, it will, it will go on, the J value becomes three, it will print three. The J value becomes four, it will print four. As soon as this condition gets false, it will print a new line and that's why we are getting the next output on the new line and then it will go back to this. Now I becomes two. Now when, as soon as your I becomes two, your J again will start with one and that's why you can see we are getting one. So the inner loop execute multiple times. To give you one more thing here, in a week we have seven days, right? So in one week we have seven days. And instead of, if, instead of naming the days, we can number the days. Let's say Sunday is day one and Monday is day two and Tuesday is day three. In that case, so on Sunday, when your I is 1, the 12th R will be the first R, then you'll be getting a second R, third R, then once you complete 24 hours, your day will change, the day will become second day, and again, the number of hours will start with 1, right, again, we'll be having second R, we'll be having third R, so every day we have 24 hours, something, it will work something in that way, your nested loops. So that's it, uh, based on this, we'll be getting some assignments, so all the best. It's time for assignment aliens. Now. Based on the logic which we have seen in the for loop, we have nested, nested for loops, right? So you need to build a code where you can print 1, 2, 3, 4, and then you have to print 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In fact, uh, let's make a proper tree here. So we'll say 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, and then 1. So this is what you need to print using that nested for loop. This is the first pattern you have to build. Uh, you can also print that with the help of all stars so you can so there, there will be two different questions one you have to print one to six and one you have to print with uh, stars then another one will be a bit complicated but not that much we'll say a b uh, then we have to say a b and c this is where you can use the ascii values to print this value yeah so you can convert the ascii value into into character it will work then the next one would be you need to print this pattern now this is a bit uh, complicated but it's worthwhile so you just try this so print dollar and then a dollar and then a dollar so you have to be basically you have to build a box of dollars so these are the three assignment questions you have for this video now how do you upload this assignment so what i will suggest is 
as a developer you need to also know how to upload videos on github now if you don't know i have a video on how to deploy a project from eclipse to github you can watch that video and share so this is where you can send your your, your assignments or maybe the best way would be uh, links submit your link or the comment section so that everyone will see your assignments so that's it they can help you so that's it from this video thank you so much for watching everyone